today's problem from pair of straight line and the problem is if each of the equations here two pair of equation given which are ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c this is equal to 0 and other pair are ax square plus 2hxy plus by square minus 2gx minus 2fy plus c this is equal to 0 okay since the homogeneous part of second degree of two equation are same so we say that these two pair represent two pair of parallel straight line okay represent a pair of straight lines prove that that r of the parallelogram sorry prove that area of the parallelogram enclosed by them is given by this we already said that these two pair of straight line represent pair of parallel straight line so it must form a parallelogram and we have to find the area of this parallelogram we write first a parallelogram let the parallelogram is of the form this this type of parallelogram we write here. sorry this is parallel okay and let it be this is p this is a this is b and this is q okay here q a and q b represented by the second line this is the second line and let p a and p b represent by the first line this is one let it be one and it be two right and we first find the point of intersection of the first pair of line and the point of intersection of the second pair of line. We here directly write the point of intersection of 1 and 2. We know that the point of intersection of 1 that is PA and PB is given by P is given by HF minus BG by a b minus h square comma g h minus a f by a b minus h square we already find the pair of sorry point of intersection in the previous some example okay we likely find that this point of intersection and similarly we write from this point we write directly the point of intersection q if we only put the value of f as minus f and g by minus g then we get the point of intersection q because only change is g by minus g and f by minus f and clearly the point of intersection are minus hf minus bg by ab minus h square and minus gh minus af by ab minus h Okay, we write already the point of intersection. Now, if we add this diagonal, this is the diagonal of the parallelogram. Sorry, this is the diagonal. And if we try to find out the midpoint of the diagonal, let it be the midpoint. And clearly, this is same as this, but except negative sign. So the midpoint is given by midpoint of pq is o this is 0 0 okay because this plus this this is equal to 0 by 2 means 0 and also this plus this by 2 is equal to 0 so we get o as the origin okay now we draw o x this is x axis and o y this is y axis right o x and o y are the axis of x and y now we draw two lines. One line is OA and another line is OB. Sorry, this is let, this is OC and this is OD. And here OC is parallel to OC is parallel to BP. BP and OD. OD is parallel to 
BQ. Okay. OC is parallel to BP and OD parallel to BQ. Now, if we find out the area of the parallelogram, area of the parallelogram O C P D O C P D and then if we multiply it by 4 then this is nothing but the area of the parallelogram this is A P B Q that is the total parallelogram okay this is this is equal to one fourth of the total parallelogram okay but in the picture it is not shown this is one fourth but geometrically it is one fourth of the total parallelogram right so we have to find out the area of this parallelogram then we multiply it by 4 and getting the result right and now we let the line pa this is equal to lx plus my plus m this is equal to 0 and the line PB, this is equal to L dash X plus M dash 1 plus N dash, this is equal to 0. This is represented by the line 1. So, we write here AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square plus 2GX plus 2FY plus C. This is equal to LX plus MY plus N into L dash X plus M dash Y plus N dash and comparing equal power of coefficient we get L L dash this is equal to A M M dash this is equal to B N N dash this is equal to C and also we get L M L M dash plus M L dash this is equal to 2h l n dash plus l dash n this is equal to 2g m n dash plus n m dash this is equal to 2 comparing both sides we get all the result okay and since we draw oc is parallel to this line so the equation of this line must be l dash x plus m dash y this is equal to 0 because it is passes through the origin this is 0 0 so the constant of this equation is 0 and similarly the equation of od this is equal to lx plus m1 this is equal to 0 okay now we have to find the point of intersection c and point of intersection d okay if we find the point of intersection C, then we find or we solve the equation Lx plus My plus N, this is equal to 0, and L dash X plus M dash Y, this is equal to 0. Then we get X by Y by 1 by, and which is given by, this is, this is 0 minus N m dash okay y by this is this is l dash n minus 0 and 1 by this is given by l m dash minus l dash l so we get the value of x this is given by n m dash by l m dash minus l dash n and the value of y this is l dash n by l m dash minus l dash n right so the distance of these two points oc here oc or mod oc this is given by root under this square plus this square because this is the origin so we get n m dash by L M dash minus L dash M whole square plus L dash N by L M dash minus L dash M whole square and this is given by N square 
इंडेस प्लस इंडेस स्क्वायर एम स्क्वायर बाय ए इंडेस माइनस ए एम बिकॉज दिस इज स्क्वायर एंड दिस इज रूट एम इनटू रूट अंडर इंडेस स्क्वायर प्लस इंडेस स्क्वायर बाय ए इंडेस माइनस ए एम sorry this is ls this is ls n okay we get the distance oc now we have to find the perpendicular distance from o to the line b let this is the perpendicular right and let it be os os be the perpendicular on b now os is perpendicular on b okay and since o be the origin so the perpendicular distance is given by os this is given by from origin to this line so this is given by n dash by root under l square plus n square okay and we know that area of any parabola is any one base this is taken as oc and the perpendicular distance from or perpendicular distance between two parallel straight line so the area of this parallelogram area of this parallelogram is given by 4 into this is this is base oc this is mod oc into mod perpendicular distance this is os this is the area And four into this area is equal to the total area. Now we have to find the area of this parallelogram, which is given by area of the parallelogram A P B Q. This is four into O C. O C means this is given by O C A into A into root under L square plus M dash square by L M dash minus L dash M. This is OC. And what is what is OS? OS is also given by M dash by this is root under L dash square plus M dash square. And this root this root cancel out. So our required result is given by four into M M dash. This is M dash. By we can write this result as root under a minus b whole square, and we directly write the formula a plus b whole square minus four a. This is l m plus plus l plus m whole square minus four a. That is l l plus m l plus. And we putting the value of a l plus this and this, we get the result as this is. Four into a n dash. We write this result here. Four into a n dash. This means c by the lower term is. This is given by. We already write here. This is given by this four a n square minus. This is four into a into b. Four into a into b. And this result gives two c by. root under h square minus a okay and we get our required area which we want okay very simple but interesting problem of pair of straight thank you thank you for watching